What's going on, guys? Isaiah is here. Got a new video for you today. Try and get this lighting right. Um, but today I wanted to make a video for Leslie, and uh, she brought up some points that, about something that I posted. You know, essentially to give you full context, I posted up a status. Uh, and I and I do these things to provoke discussion because I know these are the type of things that people will respond to and that's why I do it, okay? So I said people love to tout intelligence and logical consistency until you bring up veganism. All of a sudden it goes out the window. And Leslie, uh, she, like myself, is a Christian and she, she said, um, well, I like to think the smartest of us all is God and he said every moving thing will be food. And then I asked her, what did we eat in the Garden of Eden in our perfect form? And biologically speaking, what are our bodies primarily designed to digest? And uh, then I said, also, do you realize that you're slaughtering animals for no reason and subjected them to torture just to satisfy taste pleasure? You don't need to eat them. You can be healthier consuming a whole foods plant-based diet. Animal products contribute to the most common chronic diseases such as heart disease and diabetes and cancer. And then she responds, and we're just going to go through this one by one. Adam and Eve ate everything from plants to animals to fish according to the Bible, but different times. And that's the key point. But if we're going back to the Garden of Eden, the, the first verse in the Bible that even mentions food is very important to know. In Genesis 129, then God said, Behold, I have given you every plant yielding seed that is on the surface of all the earth, and every tree which has fruit yielding seed, it shall be food for you. Okay, and to every beast of the earth in Genesis 1.30, and to every bird of the sky, and to everything that moves on the earth which has life, I have given every green plant for food. And it was so, right? So God is saying here, when we were created in our perfect form, we were eating vegetation, okay? We were eating plants. And biologically speaking, when you look at the, phys at the physiology of our bodies, when you look at the way our jaw uh, bites down on food, you know, it grinds. Uh, when you look at the fact that our teeth are flat and broad, um, and people love to point at canines, and mine are particularly pointy, right? Um, but those are more suited for hard fruit and nuts. And, um, you know, and if you look at the enzymes in our saliva, again, suited for fruit. If you look at the acidity of our stomach, again, suited for plant matter if you look at the length of our intestinal tract again suited for plant matter and if you look at the fact that when we consume animal products we get heart disease which inherently shows that we are not meant to be omnivorous creatures uh again just something else solidifying it you look at our nails they aren't claws they we don't have pretty much any omnivorous trait that you would see in the wild okay so physiologically speaking there is a mountain of evidence showing that we are primarily herbivorous creatures, all right? And that shows it right there in our perfect form. As Christians, we can see that we were primarily designed to be consuming plants and not animals, okay? Um, and although it is morally permissible to consume animals, it doesn't mean that you should, okay? It doesn't mean that you should, all right, and she, then she says, nowadays they pump animals with so much steroids that it's unhealthy. I truly believe cancer comes from all the preservatives, GMO, etc. on food. Uh, can, cancer is, if inherently speaking, animal products are not good for us. It's, I mean, the, the thing that they add to them these days, uh, because of the horrendous conditions that animal live, lives, uh, that these animals live in, and the sheer demand for meat, which plays a part in the steroids, because they have to grow them so fast. Um, but uh, talking about the cancer, uh, there are certain amino acids that are high in animal products, you know, things like methionine, which have been shown to directly feed cancerous growth in our bodies. And also, if you're talking about uh, heart disease, the saturated fats and the cholesterol, which has been shown to build up plaque in our arteries. Also, the heme iron has also been shown to have a, an association with chronic uh, coronary artery disease and um, also type 2 diabetes if you look at insulin producing beta cells and the way they're affected by the saturated fats in animal products that is also something else to know so inherently speaking these animal products are bad for us it's not just you know because we're doing all this today the fact that we're doing all this today is just compounding on the fact that they were always bad for us Okay, and going real quick back to the Garden of Eden, we didn't start eating animals until we had the fall of man. 
something to keep in mind. And um, and then aside from that, in regards to slaughtering animals, though, I do agree men are evil and the way some of these animals are treated is sad. It's not some, it's pretty much all of the animals we're treating. It's horrendous. And I do think it shows a lack of compassion for us to know what's going on in this industry and still continue to support it. Um, it it's pr pretty much all of animal agriculture. Uh, but God give, did give us animals to eat. Back then, animals used to get slaughtered for sacrifice as well. Okay, and uh, just something real quick to note about the for sacrifice uh, point. We don't even need to do that anymore. Just something really quick, you know, ever since Christ came and died for us. Um, but... As far as needlessly slaughtering animals, again, just because you may be able to morally, uh, you may be able, you may be morally permitted via the Bible to consume animal products, does not mean that you should continue to do so. Um, so that's what I'm getting at: is the fact that we are supporting a brutal industry, we are harming our personal health, and we are harming the health of our planet by supporting this industry. Because of the amount of land and resources it takes to raise these animals by the billions every year, um, it is basically going to come to the point eventually where we have to go vegan. Okay, so, um, but you don't feel bad for eating chicken or fish because that is what we're supposed to do. Well, you should feel something. Okay, you really should because again, you don't have to kill those animals and they feel pain and they suffer due to the uh, conditions that we are subjecting them to day in and day out. And, uh, you know, these animals, again, they are sentient beings and they don't need to be killed. We can exercise compassion even as Christians for these animals and you can be healthier as a result for it. So, and then you say uh, something that I, I, I really like that you that you said this because I think it shows uh, an openness to this. And I think it's the first step and I'm really happy. Um, you said, I wish I could only eat vegan though, to be honest in these times, because now all food is compromised, but it's too hard. I salute you on that willpower. Um, the fact that you say you wish you really can. When I first became vegan, I thought it was going to be a lot more difficult than it actually was. And that's what a lot of people think when they're first doing something like this, when they're first making a change in their diet, they think it's going to be harder than it actually is, but it's really not. Uh, so I invite you to go ahead and explore your options and I can give you options for alternatives if you need them. I'm here. I'm here for you. I'm here to answer any questions. Okay. Um, but, but yeah, you said now all food is compromised. I, I don't know if I would say all food is compromised. Um, mainly animal products, I would say is compromised and they do use, uh, pesticides on crops and such, but quite honestly speaking, I think a lot of the controversy surrounding pesticides is way overblown. Um, and also you mentioned GMO. That's another thing that I think is way overblown. There's not much evidence conclusively to show that GMO products actually have a harmful effect on our health. Uh, we need more long-term studies done on this type of thing. And the type of studies that we need done are incredibly, incredibly expensive. Um, so I'm not sure if we're going to be getting those anytime soon. Um, but until I can see some consistent, uh, conclusive evidence on GMO products being harmful, I'm not entirely worried about it and people have different definitions of what gmo actually means too i do think just inherently speaking the fact that we're growing crops and trying to get the best yield is already gmo in and of itself um but anyways that's that but uh, as far as the willpower goes that's one of the main reasons why people don't do it is because I, 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 i'm not trying to offend you when i say this it's it's a lack of discipline it's a lack of discipline like any other uh, change that you're going to be making for the better. It, it takes some self-discipline. You know, when we, when we as Christians have to make changes in our spiritual life, we have to be disciplined about it. When we're making changes for our health, we have to be disciplined about it. When you're trying to pursue a financial career, you have to be disciplined about it. Okay, when you're in school, you got to be disciplined about it. There's a lot of things that we can relate this to in terms of discipline. And that's essentially what it comes down to. And, and uh, you do have options to satisfy pretty much every craving in the book. Uh, me, personally, my favorite uh, thing to eat before I went vegan was pizza. And I've been able to satisfy that craving pretty much no problem. So that's just a video that I wanted to make addressing this, Leslie. I hope you don't mind me making a video for you. I just prefer making these because you can see how I'm actually talking in place of typing over a keyboard. Because I know I come across as very aggressive when I'm in text. So <laughs> it's just, I just type very matter of fact. 
Um, but sometimes I do get a little ahead of myself. I'm not going to lie. Uh, so, so yeah, this is a video for you. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope I answered some questions and by all means, if you want to continue the discussion, let's keep doing it. Um, but yeah, I just want to make this for you and y'all have a good one.